Hello, I'm Mrs. Geiger, and I'd like to talk to you a little bit about one of the resources we have for you in the Monroe Catholic High School Library. Um, th that's our databases, and the way you access our databases is you go to Quick Links, and you go down and click on Library, and the Library page comes up. You can also access the Library from Academics by going down again to Library. When you get to the library page, you want to scroll down a little bit and click on databases, find articles, primary sources, and ebooks. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what a database is. A database is just a gathering of information. It's the kind of information that libraries used to get by subscription. Um, we still buy books, and there are a lot of books also in the databases we get electronically, but pretty much now our magazines and our newspaper information comes in the form of a database subscription. So if you're looking for very current, very authoritative information, you can go to our databases. When you reach um, the online database menu page, you'll see a menu of all the databases um, you can use that we subscribe to at Murrow Catholic. Today we're just going to look at one of them. We're going to look at Student Resource Center. Student Resource Center Gold is part of the Gale suite of databases. The Gale databases, we subscribe to a number of them. And Student Resource Center is a good beginning database. Okay, And they work a little differently from Google. You can see a menu of topics that are popular for students to use, but you can also search. And we're going to do an advanced search because we're interested in topics um, for this assignment on teens and the internet, teens and technology. So I'm going to go into advanced search. And in advanced search, it gives you lots of if different options for your searching. This first one that it lists is keywords, but you could also search by document title. If you knew the name of an article, you could search for that. We're going to leave this keyword, and we're going to put in teens. And under document title, a keyword is a very general search. so. If I just put in teens, I get thousands and thousands of documents, just like you would in Google. But I'm also going to change it a little bit and put technology in the next thing under document title. And that means the word technology has to appear in the title. So there has to be a mention of teens in the, in the document, and the word technology has to appear in the title. Um, I'm going to leave the last one, which is publication title, blank. Um, you don't ever have to fill in all the boxes in an advanced search. And I'm going to click search, and let's see what we get. The interesting thing about um, the Gale databases is they come in what's called tabbed results. And in this case, the first results we get are going to be magazine articles. There's also um, information from academic journals, and that's usually college-level information, and also um, information from newspapers and multimedia um, that would normally be uh, some sort of, could be a podcast or an image of some sort. So I'm going to scroll down and see if um, there would be an interesting article. Well, here's one. Defriending Facebook. When social networking starts to get in the way of real life, some teens are deciding to log off. Hmm, that would be tough. But if I want to see this article, I click on the article title, and it should bring up the full text of the article. Now, if you didn't want to read this article, you could download as an MP3 and listen to it. You can also mail it to yourself. And if I scroll back up, if I wanted to email this article to myself, I could click on the email envelope. And then all of our databases have an email option. You just look for the little envelope. And I would put in my email address. And it would send the article to me.
and I can click send and there it is I'm going to go back to the document and maybe look at it a little more and notice that I put in teens as a keyword and they're showing up in red everywhere that that t term appears if I want to go back and see the results after I've clicked in a document when I want to get back to my list of results I would click right there where it says results and that would take me back to my list another thing you can do in this if you know for instance a topic you have a pretty good topic you know you want to search on so for instance I want to do cyberbullying I can go right into the quick search and click on cyberbullying and see which articles in the database are available for cyberbullying and then I get those results. Thank you. It's brought to you by the library team.